Hey you fellas, Nick here, and happy National 32 Days Before Christmas Day! Yep, you heard that right. Thanksgiving is just around the corner! With the holiday in your range, I gotta get some food put together pronto and quick. Now, before you ask, I already bought a turkey off of Craigslist, so I got the main course covered. The issue is, I'm out of ingredients to make side dishes, so all I have left is... I'll make this work. You ever wake up and ask, what the f*** do I do? I take a sh change my shirt, buy another couch, find out you got fired, repay my walls! And maybe eat some food, but that's a last resort. Breakfast, the first meal of the day. For some fucked up reason, I grew up eating this in the morning. Now, cereal's got the big brands like Cheerios, Frosted Flakes, Chex, Raisin Bran. <laughs> but because everyone is greedy and wants money for themselves, companies clone popular cereals to fool people unfamiliar with the brand. It's mostly just for parents that think, oh, my kids love that one cereal with the flake things. No, they love a salt and battery. You just never bothered to ask. First off, let's just break the ice here. Everybody knows Chex. Maybe I know them a bit too well after talking about their game. Twice, but it comes in many variants, the most popular which being rice and corn. Now, Chex is owned by General Mills, and Kellogg's decided to make their own version of Chex named Crispix. Now I don't have any on hand, I'll just buy a copy online. Uh, wait. Crispix is sold out everywhere besides... South Carolina? Fuck it. Well, here I am, South Carolina, the only people brave enough to sell Crispix. I got the box, and after tearing into it, I gotta say, this is pathetic. Crispix is checks, but if checks was hexagons instead of squares, and also if each piece was half corn, half rice. Crunchy corn on one side, crispy rice on the other. Those are synonyms, how can I distinguish the two? After baking until golden brown and serving, I can definitely say that, yeah, this is just checks again. It really tastes like just rice and corn, and when those two things already have, like, no flavor, it tastes so bland. Overall, it's fine, better than checks since you're technically getting rice and corn checks in one box, but the resale value on a used copy of Crispix isn't paying off either of my flights. However, I took a loan on the bank account of the Crispix box, so that means I had enough money to fly back and talk about fucking rabbits. Annie's. I hope she's okay. Annie's is a brand mostly known for cheese of the Mac variety, but apparently they sell cereal now. I picked up this Cocoa Bunnies one. They plastered junk everywhere on this box about how organic it is. Like, organic makes a difference. Yeah, but so did the coal miner strike. Who the hell cares about some fucking beans? But hey, the box does say this will make soil better. That must have been the issue of my salami farm. Let's go over to this room. This is what us cereal eaters call the cereal eating chair. Here, I'll be able to try any and all cereals at my disposal, so let's begin. Trying out the Cocoa Bunnies, it honestly tastes pretty good. Got a good size that fits a lot of pieces on a spoon. And the pieces are bunnies, now you have to buy it! You might be wondering, how is this considered a clone? Well, Annie's is owned by General Mills, which is the same company that makes the cereal Cocoa Puffs. So now, you can essentially buy the same cereal from what is basically the same brand. Hopefully this doesn't happen again. Hey fucker, you like frosted mini wheats? Well, here's Kashi. This is basically just shredded wheat. Kellogg's really did just take a cereal they already had and frosted it. And it's clear that it works because they already did that. Anyone heard of frosted flakes? Yeah, those are a copy of corn flakes. I'm not buying fucking corn flakes. And did you know this is organic? Because the box wants to make sure you know it's organic. But not before telling you it's organic. And then for good measure, they put an organic in the fucking ingredients list. Hey, does anyone remember what the cereal is? It's fucking kosher! So, let me just get my Akashi and we'll be on our way to trying this cereal. Where the hell is it? Yeah, I have no clue what happened, but somehow I never got around to actually being with the Kashi cereal on my cereal chair. Pretty disappointing, I know. I actually had a lot to say about it, specifically this autumn wheat flavor. You can assume what I had to say will be mixed, at least, because this cereal has a mere three ingredients. But oh well, I guess Kashi survives for another day. Its existence keeps me up at night. You know what? I need a palate cleanser. I need something completely unique, so let's try out toasted corn squares. I swear that was Vegemite when I bought it. Finally, more Chex bootlegs! I can't wait for the game Toasted Corn Quest. I think the more I eat versions of Chex, the more I hate this cereal. It is just so bland, but hey, that must mean they're copying it well if it tastes just as shitty as the original. This cereal clone is a store brand version. Here I have one from ShopRite. Let's be honest here, everyone knows ShopRite, especially if you live in Connecticut, Delaware, Maryland, New York, New Jersey, and or Pennsylvania, but their store brand recently changed from just ShopRite to being Olin Basket. A box of Chex costs three mortgages, but the store brand? <laughs> this cost me a fingernail. The box says it's gluten-free and has no artificial colors or flavors. But they don't say there isn't sulfuric acid. Going for the taste test? Yep. 
It's cereal. As someone who went through a rough patch of eating nothing but frosted flakes for three years straight, hearing me call cereal basic should not be taken lightly. Chex is boring, and its clones aren't even different in a unique way, especially in comparison to any other cereals. Chex is essentially cornflakes for geometry lovers. I did not think I'd say that today. But whatever, we can try another brand of cereal, something more interesting, like Raisin Bran. Raisin Bran is bad. Now, I did a whole review a bit ago on Kellogg's Raisin Bran, and I maintain that these are even worse cornflakes mixed with very flavorless raisins. But for some reason, Kellogg's made a cereal named Mucilix. I'd be okay with dying if I could buy that. I could not find this in any damn grocery store I went to. And I know I'm cursing myself by saying this because the millisecond after I say, I can't find this thing, I'll find 60 damn copies of it on Craigslist. Mucilix is basically just Raisin Bran with more stuff in it. It's got whole grain flakes and raisins like the original, but also dates and almonds. But unfortunately, I can't find any, so I'll have to find some alternatives. And all brand does not count. Those are not the flakes from Raisin Bran. Instead, I found a cereal that's even better than that. A Bible quote. Ezekiel 4.9 is presumably about some dude named Ezekiel talking about how you should make bread. Oh no, it says something about lentils. Apparently, some company took this to heart and made a bunch of breads and cereals based on the existence of this Bible verse. Now this is all brand. It essentially just looks like the raisins are gone here. They'd have a version that had raisins on it, but me eating raisins on camera is the same thing as me eating kashi on camera. Pouring it out into a bowl, it's... But wait a minute. This isn't fake raisin, Brent. This is a fucking fraud! Gonna be real here, this is more Rice Krispie than Raisin Bran. I mean, I really don't know what to expect with Bible passage food, but a lot of this is just like dust. What, did you take a bowl of cereal and use a palm tander on it? But you know, at least Rice Krispies don't have a really gross smell. The moment these come out of the bag, it's very potent. Curse you, spelt. Trying it out, this is a very dry cereal. When I ate the toasted corn squares, I thought those were dry. This is on a whole new level. I had to drink these with like a full glass of milk, but even then when I do, it just brings out more of its weird taste. And again, most of it is just dust. So that was Ezekiel cereal, and overall it's pretty good. I'm just glad I'm not eating something healthy like Kashi is. Oh. My. God. <sighs> <sighs> Put it down. There's no dads in that tank. And ear protection. blacked out for a whole minute, I don't even know how this happened. I think I need a more normal cereal after that last one, so lastly, I brought out Kellogg's Choco Krispies. Now, originally, this seemed like a very elusive cereal. I mean, there isn't even a Wikipedia article for it. How does Choco Krispies get no article when the buttered toast phenomenon does? And on the Kellogg's website, no mention of it exists, only the Rice Krispies cereal. But then I realized I was looking in the wrong place, because in Latin America, Cocoa Krispies are named Choco Krispies with no E. Because Guatemala just hates vowels. So Choco Krispies, this cereal comes in a fat box. One whole pound of cereal in here. I mean, these pieces are pretty small, so I'm sure they could fit tons in here, but damn. Say goodbye to the original Coco Krispies mascots because now we have Melvin. Looking on the back, it says something. I don't know. I only speak French. But I can see on the back here that it's advertising Spanish Frosted Flakes. Apparently, they're called Zucaritas. It kind of sounds like Azucar, which is Spanish for sugar, so they renamed Frosted Flakes to just sugars. I don't know. At least they're being honest. Pouring the cereal into a bowl like... Oh, holy shit. Carefully pouring the cereal into a bowl carefully. I mean... Yeah, it does look like Cocoa Krispies. Well, let's try the cereal. Maybe it has an insane difference I never saw coming. Something unique. A food I've never tasted before. I don't know what I was expecting. Might want to be sitting down for this, but Choco Krispies taste exactly like Cocoa Krispies. Yeah? I was hoping that the cereal would be different in a new market, like how Mexican Coke doesn't exist and they have the same Coke as America and they make fake Coke to appeal to super dumb stupid Americans, but I digress. Well, that's just a few of the cereal ripoffs that I know. If you think I missed any, please send me a million dollars in the mail with your letter, and I might read it if I'm bored. Oh god, I spent so much time talking about cereal ripoffs, I don't have any side dishes!
I fucked up big time. I had to substitute gravy with Crispix, something with Crispix, and the guy with Craigslist pulled a fast one on me because he didn't send me a turkey. He sent me a shoe!